Welcome back to Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro. Today I am joined by my dear friend. We've co-authored a book together. I've known this guy for many, many years. His name is Armando Rosario. He's an expert in cachaça, even certified in Brazil in this category. He has been preaching the caipirinha for many, many years. And today he's going to show us how to make it. Mando. All right. So tell us a little bit, what on earth is cachaça? Okay. And then make the cocktail for us, well, please. Okay, good. So um, if you're going to talk about cachaça, I just want you to know two things about cachaça. Is the, if somebody asks you ever about cachaça, two things that you should know is, number one, has to be made from fresh cane juice. Okay. Number two, has to come from Brazil. And everything else, obviously, you know, is other regulations. But those two important points, once you have those two important points, you know that cachaça comes from Brazil. So it's all a right? so cane based cane, sugar cane, fresh cane juice based spirit. Okay. So Wonderful. as the essence of terroir, every time, you know, each region of Brazil that makes cachaça has a special type, you know, a flavor profile because of the terroir of it. It's like a pisco or a tequila, you know, kind of, you know, the raw material that kind of comes through it, you know, gotcha. unlike a uh, rum, because, you know, it's most of them is aged and it's molasses and it comes from other regions. Cachaça is a more specific sort of thing. Interesting. Okay. So if somebody wanted to know what it tastes like, okay. in, con in comparison perhaps to a, just a regular rum that they would find at home, what would in general be well, the difference of flavors? That's a very good question. Uh, sometimes we have like a, we kind of mix the both together because cachaça and rum kind of, kind of fall into the same category because they're made from sugar cane. However, you know, cachaça was around 100 years before rum. So, you know, Interesting. cachaça is not like rum. Rum is like cachaça. I like that. So that's the number one. It is the very first spirit distillate of the Americas. So that's kind of cool. Very right? cool. Yes, yes. So one of the other things before you start making this, okay. is, which is important yeah. for, for the viewers as well, is I've always called you the what of bartenders. Do you remember? Uh, the Morimoto. The, mori the Morimoto, <laughs> because all of us are really good at cutting and knife skills, but when I look at you, it's like I used uh, to watch Iron Chef and I would see Morimoto cut uh, versus all the other ones. Your knife skills are amazing. Yeah. So well, uh, I, I really want the viewer not only to learn how to make the, the caipirinha yeah. today, but also really take a look at how you use the knife. Well, it is quite important. I mean, a caipirinha, like I said, is a very simple drink, only has three ingredients. However, the proportions that you use the ingredients have to be kind of balanced. So mm -hmm. that's what makes a great caipirinha, okay? Super. So basically, you know, what is important is how you prepare your basic ingredients. Think about a caipirinha as the only cocktail you have to be made fresh. You cannot go to a bar and they have something pre batched for you. Mm -hmm. It has to be made in front of you, it's fresh. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go, you know, through the process how to make a caipirinha, which by the way, happens to be the official drink of Brazil. Okay. And it was the, you know, it's the very first country that officialized one cocktail, the caipirinha. Okay. Wonderful. So let's make a caipirinha. Okay. Very simple drink. Now, traditional, traditionally, I mean, in Brazil, the caipirinha is, is made right directly into the glass. Okay. Mm. So here today, we're going to make it in a slightly different way, but the end result is exactly the same. Okay. okay? So mm. I'm going to do it in a mixing glass for one reason, one reason only. Our glass is kind of fragile, it's elegant, so I don't, I don't want to risk it, you know, muddling the lime and might, might break the glass. And doesn't make any difference. The mixing glass is good, it's right, it's made for that, right? That's so, happened to me before. There so we go, so point. we don't want to do that. Now, very important ingredient in the caipirinha, lime, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so when it comes to limes, a lime is not just a lime. So mm. You have to get the right lime. Okay. And you actually have a couple, couple two examples here, what, what to buy, what to get, but not what to get. Okay, mm -hmm. so this lime here, very bumpy, very hard skin, obviously not juicy at all. Mm -hmm. So this is actually the wrong lime to buy. Gotcha. If you see something that this bumpy and that, that rough texture, just please avoid it, okay? And try to get something like that. Nice and soft and a very shiny skin. So that is juicy. Awesome. Okay, so the caipirinha is sort of like the proportions, the, the, the reasonable amount of the proportion is two, one, one. Basically, is one ounce of the lime juice, which goes with the lime, which average lime yields about an ounce. One ounce or one teaspoon of sugar, of simple syrup or, or sugar, and two ounces of the spirit, because gotcha. it's the only co the alcoholic component. A nice good cachaça, you know. And that's the basic three ingredients, okay? Love it. So let me show you how we prepare the lime, which is the most important aspect of making a caipirinha. Okay, okay. so we're gonna get a nice lime, nice soft. 
And we get, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut both ends off, okay? Like that. We're gonna expose the flesh of the lime, okay? So we discard that. Now we're gonna cut the lime in half, all right? And now we're gonna remove this membrane here. We, the reason we're removing this membrane here is not because this is bitter. I, by removing that, I remove the, st the structure of the lime, okay? So the lime is no longer have structure. So when I muddle, it's not gonna fight you. Doesn't gonna fight you, it releases the lime, Love okay? That. Because what makes a caipirinha bitter is because you leave the membrane in and to extract the lime, you have to apply more pressure. And the oils in the skin, a little bit is good, a, too much is not good, gotcha. makes a bit. Okay, so now we're gonna remove both, okay? The membrane, great. And now we're gonna cut it in quarters, okay? Simple like that. Okay. Now, lovely. Now, now another aspect of the traditional and the classic caipirinha. Classically, traditional in Brazil, they use granulated sugar. Okay. Nothing wrong with it. But if you want to do it a much easier way, and in a way that once you add the sweetener, which is going to be simple syrup, what happens when you add simple syrup dissolves on contact. Mm -hmm. If you use uh, um, granulated sugar, you actually have to stir it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're gonna get those sandy, you know, right. texture in your mouth. So, so simple syrup is the right way to go. Okay. And it's very easy because one lime yields about an ounce of juice. You put one ounce of simple syrup and everybody's up. Gotcha. Okay? And I want to venture to say that in Brazil, they're using simple syrup and, as and well. Actually, yes. The new generation of bartenders in Brazil, they're actually using this instead of sugar. Makes so it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so we're going to put an ounce of simple syrup. And now notice how much actually I'm going to muddle this. Okay, I'm going to push down and twist two and three. That's it. So you make it look really easy and that's because you remove the remove membrane. Remove the membrane. So the, 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 all the juice from the lime came out. Yes, gotcha. So now, obviously, the most important part of the caipirinha is the cachaça. cachaça. So you're going to have to use the best we got. Okay. Gotcha. And we just happen to have one here that is not available. Unfortunately, it's not available in America, in the United States. But we nonetheless, we're going to make it because it's for us, right? I love it. Okay. So we're going to use coquero. Coquero. Coquero is the first cachaça in Brazil to earn the gold medal. Okay, and there's only 5,000 of them, right? <laughs> so, so we're gonna put two ounces, we're gonna put two ounces of cachaça. Okay. And that's it. See how easy this is? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put some ice. And you can put crushed ice, you can put regular ice, whatever you like, but you know, I, I just like any kind of ice, I just like to mix it up all together. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can shake it also, but traditionally it's not shaken, it's just uh, mixed like that. And now we're gonna put it in a nice rocks glass. And now One. we're just gonna put a couple more ice cubes in it. And there we have it. Oh, that Your looks amazing. Perfect. There we go. Awesome. Three ingredients can go wrong. Love it, love it, love it. Can I drink? Absolutely, try okay, it, you I give it a wait. shot. It smells so yes, good, yeah. it's about time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, salud, salud. Salud. Oh man, it smells so good. Yeah. You know the funny thing about this drink, Armando? Yes. Is, it's so good, it's so delicious, it's so tropical. Yep. Three ingredients, but just because of the highly herbaceousness, the, yes. the, the grassiness oh. of the cachaça, it's, it looks like a seven ingredient cocktail on your mouth when you drink it. But most of all, you know, cocktails are meant to be enjoyed with the right people and the right occasion yes. and at the right time. And every time I drink a caipirinha, it just kind of reminds me of you. And it Thank reminds you. me of our wonderful friendship cool. that we have had for many years. So um, I know that September 13th is National Caipirinha Day and yep. it's also National Cachaça Day. Don't wait till September 13th. No, this is definitely a uh, everyday drinker. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit like, smash that subscribe button and come back to more Master Your Glass where you can meet people like Armando and myself and we'll give you more expert instruction for everyday consumption.